Just play the part of the stripper girl, but this is ridiculous! Attention. I am a weapon of shredded destruction. I require sustenance befitting of a true warrior of the Emperor. Your meager Xenos food you presented me with could not sate starvation in a rodent, no less a human at PEAK PERFORMANCE! You two clearly tread the paths of the Swole, a rare divergence amongst your kind. Where are you hiding the protein? Cease your silence, Xenos. I am Ephrael Stern. Your kind wanted me here, and I demand proper nourishment, or I will punch something really hard in the face. Most likely that humongous mind creature. Its face makes me angry. Are you worshippers of it? You harlequins have poor taste in jokes, directing your faith towards a lanky grot in a bag. I'm leaving now. I expect food to be ready before my next fit of hunger cramps, or I will start a book burning. Okay, you all can enter the library now. I have to go plot the demise of the Flesh Eaters for saying my other other queen's taste of slapstick and sullen jokes. Everybody's a critic. I think... I think it is gone now. I feel dead on the inside. Zinga. Might as well go inside, yes? Yes. Let us go. Do you know how Terra no longer bears any natural water, Father? This I am aware of. That too is funny. Why? Because how did that even happen? Um, it boiled away due to nuclear wars and massive overpopulation. Boiling water does not remove it from the planet. Um, it was stolen by people and brought off the planet. How would one steal one sextillion, two hundred and sixty quintillion liters of water in an age of limited space travel and relatively small vessels? Then it was definitely magic to weigh into the warp by those asshole psychers. So most of Terra's natural water now resides in the Immaterium. Definitely. That makes it even funnier. Speaking of water. I need to somehow poorly segue into the fact that Brother Fitzditch and the Exceptional Hulk have not fucking returned yet. I do not see what that has to do with water, Father. Damn it, Rogel. You are going to drive me to tears with this new brand of zass blasting you are forcing upon me. Tears are usually made of water, and those custodians tend to collect your tears when you sleep. The fuck did you just say? When a loyal subject of the Imperium dies in combat, your empty eye socket produces a single, minuscule tear. 
No, it does not. Yes, it does. No. Yes. No. Yes. I never thought you, my one upright and honest son, would ever pick up the habit of making up the stupidest of fucking lies. It is no lie, father. With the exception of saying sob repeatedly, I have not, quote unquote, cried for at least 500 years. No. Last time I did it caused massive floods everywhere. No. Shut the fuck up, I am flashback. No. <laughs> No, you cry all the time. By my ravishing ribcage, I most certainly do not. I am a skeleton. Skeletons cannot cry, Rogel. That is what makes it funny. Go play with building blocks on a freeway, you insensitive child. I shall do this. Do not actually do it, Rogel, you fucking idiot. Terrorist freeways could surely be improved. So could my current company. Speaking of, as to complete this dumb segue, I sure wish the Leather Spandex Society would make their homecoming soon. Soon as in right the fuck now, you grease goblins. Shit. It did tea work. Did you expect their timely return when you uttered those words? It usually works. People do not appear out of nowhere when you say words, father. Tell that to whoever writes this shit. Bazinga. You are writing your speech out upon your text-to-speech device, father. Are you blaming yourself? I feel physical fucking pain when you speak, and I barely even have a nervous system, you honey mustard mustached homunculus. Would you like me to refill your anesthetic tank? Can we just be completely and utterly silent for a few minutes instead? Yes. I shall show you how silent and unmoving I've been these past millennia, father. Anesthetics required, anesthetics required, anesthetics required, anesthetics required. I have probably said this a few hundred times only, so excuse my pendulum complaints, but the webway fucking sucks! It's like a massive incandescent headspace with heads just made of fairy dust and headaches. Fuck off! When I, Cuts Iscarius, find it positively delightful! Well, it's really no wonder, is it? You and the Webway share a lot in common, you do. Are you referring to the fact that I, Cuts Iscarius, provide seemingly endless path to a bright future and remain the last hope for the survival of our species? No! I mean that both of you fucking suck! My glorious chapter master, as the Bathylians clownometers are reporting higher levels of honk in this section of the webway. Data rate reports calculate we will arrive in roughly 8.5 standard Terran hours. Oh, thank Emperor. This means we're finally making progress. Anyways, punch Hillian in the face for we do not allow him any screen time. Got it? Pardon me, my lord. But what do you mean by do not allow him screen time? See, it's a fancy phrase for keeping him veiled, obscured, concealed, shrouded, unobserved, hidden! Force him under a massive blanket or something. We need to keep him as irrelevant as possible! But... but why? Don't ask questions! I, Captain Sicarius, will graciously help myself to all of Ilion's screen time! I can graciously help you to a boot to the head as well if you would like! Why, well, Captain Sicarius, would that? Uh, oh, and my lord, I do not wish to overstep, but I would also like to inform you about the massive ghost titan standing before you. What? You puny monk, I dare tread the paths of the Eldar webway? Foolish primitives! What? We are the lost phantom titan of Moriori! We have traversed the labyrinthine roads of the webway for millennia after the destruction of our craft world by your filthy species! We have ever yearned for the day when we could slaughter monk, I once again! Our food! Our water, our oxygen, 
our very means of survival have all been the products of our infernal hatred for your kind. And now, you come to meet your demise by our hand. You come to satiate our incessant hunger for vengeance. <laughs> Sparkling Pixie Machine! <laughs> Alright, let's move on. I thought it was excellent show kissing of your prowess, Captain Master! But if I was you, which I, Cut Sicarius, and not, as I, Cut Sicarius, and the most esteemed Cut Sicarius, I would have personally used the rope to hang myself! Hydronius Captain Master! How dare you interrupt the feedback session of I, Cut Sicarius! We have received a secondary mission from Holy Terror, sir! <sighs> right. Oh, we have been sent on a most holy mission, sir. We were told to retrieve and escort the White Scars Primarch, Jagatai Khan, out of the webway while we are still here. Right. We'll go do that first, then. Everyone, prepare your jump packs. We need to be soaring with utmost speed for this mission. I would definitely do not require one as I have Terminator armor. That makes positively zero sense, Chapter Master! Shut your face, you shit girl! I do what I want! And I like what I do. Silence, companion! We've not made it this far to be spotted by the children of Vulcan. Can't you just use some otherworldly magic to turn us invisible or something? Get, no, stop that! Cease your hackney propositions, you obstinate poor! I just want to make things easy for a change. No! I want to make it like a scout and sneak in unseen. I miss being able to do this, going on an adventure, seeing worlds, needing to think tactically. Ah, it reminds me of the crusade in a way. You're a ten-foot-tall-winged demon, man. The only ones who won't see you are people actively choosing not to believe you exist. Now you're just being condescending. That's very out of character. And you're being illogical. That's even more out of character. Oh, no, no. You're right. Let us make use of a conventional stratagem involving copious amounts of invisibility with minimal effort on our part. Just like the Tau would. Oh, shit. Do you want to fight? What? We'll break into your reliquary, you spouter! What? Gonna take all your artifacts and wear them about! What? We're gonna take your engine thing! What? I'll slap your shit, I swear on me mum! What? Me mum was a tune! What? A tune in my fucking Emperor's! What? Fuck! What? More memories! Forget this ever happened, please, and thank oh, you. God, I'm dying. It's really quiet. What? There it is. The Engine of Woes. It looks absolutely horrifying. The complex machinery that makes up its structure is said to be forged out of Vulcan's very own angst and fury. He exercised all but his most ingrained hatreds out of his body and into this machine. It is said that sometimes, can even hear the ethereal moans of his despair and anguish echo through it. Is that really true? Hello? I'm trying to express my ethereal moans of despair and anguish, which will echo eternally into the decaying halls of time. Could you please leave? Evidently, yes. Ah. So, how are we going to get out of here? Well, since you've been insistent in your complaints on taking the easiest routes possible throughout all this, we'll just grab a hold of it and teleport back to the ship. Sound good? But yeah, we'd be teleported right back to Terra, but I guess this is better than sneaking out on a trolley car or whatever you were planning earlier. You have no sense of adventure. Last time you had an adventure, demons happened. <laughs> you've been hanging around Father too much. His passive-aggressive attitude has rubbed off on you like your brothers with so much body oil. Nevertheless, grab on to me and we'll be out of here. Oi! Uh, 
Who's there? Sorry, friends. This here corner of the room is very dark for some reason. I tend to use it for them dramatical entrances in case someone tries to grab me flashy bits. By the gods. Do you recognize me, brother? Is that the way it is? How long's it been, Magnus? Ya yeah, no, since you did that Herbie Trophy. Remember that? That was certainly a thing you did, Swart! Why is he speaking like that? Oh, 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 hey there, Vulcan! How's it going? <laughs> How are you even alive? Why am I alive? Why would I want to be dead? Being alive is fun! All my friends are here! Besides, I tried being dead. Unpleasant it was! Almost as unpleasant as the ghost of Ferris Manis. Look at him. Do you see his damn little ghost face? He is like a skull no, ghost. No! A ghost. No! Why are you alive in here? You went missing, and everyone assumed you died fighting the beast, right? Oh, yeah. I suppose that means the artifacts actually worked. Huh. Fancy that. That makes no sense! Why would that work?! That can't be it! That's stupid! <laughs> artifacts are stupid, yes. I intended their destruction, but a dear friend of old persuaded me otherwise, so I gave him the responsibility of securing them. I am uncertain what became of them afterwards. Other than that, they disappeared. And yet you are alive! Oh, oh, oh. Me being alive is entirely unrelated to the artifacts, Ray. Really? Oh. Ah. My intelligence was almost criminally insulted. When you channelize enough at that- Raw energy! The green skin boys are always raving about! You can never be too sure about what will happen. See, I was Fortnite Dry Warbles on Illinois, and I ran them down into a reactor full of sun energy. Then, I channelized these savage energies through my mind and body. And Zogan smashed a biscuit with all the mud I could muster, and then everything exploded! And you survived that. <laughs> Absolutely not. My body exploded in a squall of gore that spread it all across time and space. At some point, however, after what felt like an eternity in the blackest of points, I came to once more. Then I sat down in this here corner. You were just sitting in that corner for nine God's damned millennia! <laughs> yes! Oh, thank! Wait, no. I do not recall exactly when my consciousness sprang back into my head. But I did find an old job Jeb Lorden about. Decided to go surprise my boys on Prometheus. Then I discovered I was already on Prometheus. So I jumped down in a drink claw and said hello to everyone. Why did I drop ship into orbit only to come back down on a drop pod? That's because the last time I dropped through a planet's atmosphere without a pod, I burned to a grease. <sighs> My ability to think thoughts was way far gone after that. That day, Payne and I became the best of friends. That is undoubtedly disturbing. Also, why were you in that corner if you had just revealed yourself to your entire chapter again? Flashy entrances, you glossy kid! Okay, for real, something is wrong with this brain. It's the darkest corner in the system. Eerily similar to the blackest void I enter upon dying the death. It feels very homey, so I set up a miniature workshop in it. Ever heard of Battle Maze 42 million? That is just fucking stupid! <laughs> you are right, friends. Now give me a hug! No, no, keep back! I have no idea why you're so friendly given everything that's happened, but this is obviously a ruse! I got nothing but friendliness for you because you are my big, friendly, big brother friend! You take another step and I'll ensure that you really are dead! Well, come now, Magnus. I do not mean harm. I but want to give my brother a great big I'm not mad that you ruined everything forever hug! That was law god, god damn it! Please don't make Magnus angry. Come here, brother! Hey, come in the step and I'll give you what for- oh, 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 you blubbering ashen adult oh, 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 I'm physically <laughs> ill! I can feel the unnatural happiness <laughs> radiating from the surface thoughts that don't turn sun on oh, oh, everything! Oh, no way! I've got- No millions of hugs together, country boy! Come here, you get- <laughs> 
<laughs> Prime up Vulcan? I would seriously advise that you stop hugging him. His spine, while incorporeal, still recoils at the touch since it was broken by Lehman Russ. I punched out one of his hearts! Why does nobody remember that? Don't worry, little friend of silver. The hug shall come for you as well. I shall see to that. Please do not do that. I mean it, Vulcan! Release me immediately! No. <laughs> 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 oh, so Fuck! Hey, wait, 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 wait. That wasn't meant to happen! You just smashed her prime up with the engine of woe so hard that I am fairly certain his gene sons felt it. What did you expect? Not fucking now! Oh, oh, oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. He... He's dead. I know! You killed a Primark! Yes, I know! You killed a Primark who was supposed to be dead, but now he's actually dead, I, I guess! I didn't mean to kill him! I just wanted him to go away! Wait, I think there's a solution to this. Hold on, I just, just need to think for it! Moment. Fresh air upon my skin is like the flinching daggers of a thousand, thousand medial urchins going at a sack of potatoes! My existence is fraught with falls and pointless angst in the midst of this disgusting reality! The light burns! For I have never been worthy to watch! I'm sad. It's too bright. I want to go back in the box. Wanting to go outside was a terrible idea. The box does not judge. It just hates. Is that really Corvus Corax? Why is Corvus here? What is happening? Oh, great. It's Magnus. Saved from my compact, environmentally friendly prison of misery by a traitor. How entirely fitting for mine own failures, aught but memories in the depths of history, forgotten forevermore. Now I see the Crimson King before me, disgustingly alive. So many loyal have fallen. A fitting punishment. Oh, and you, murdered Vulcan. It's the Dropside Massacre all over again. Holy shit, I, I'm so sorry. Now all we require is the flayed, silvered skull of our brother Ferris, gawking at us, radiating his entirely earned disgust at us both. It shall be a regular family reunion. Awful, awkward, and an atrocity upon family values. Thanks, me. You are we, Corvus. I am aware, Ferris. Thank you. Who are you talking to? A brother fallen. One whom you did not even have the gall to come and slay like the rest of your traitor's ilk. Uh, speaking of which, I'm totally gonna kill you once I remember how to use my legs. Where did he go? He's using his wraith slip. He's making his presence unknown to us. With this ability, he can erase his very perception that he exists from our minds, rendering him as a non-entity. So, going invisible? Yes, pretty much! See, if it would have just done that from the beginning, none of this would have happened. Ah! What did you do to our Primark? What is now done to our precious Lord Lovenhagis, you ruffians? All right, we're out of here. Let's go, 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 back to the Imperial Palace! They disappear! What are we going to do, Tushan? Vulcan is dead! Oh god! The answer is forthright, he stand! We must needs give pursuit! Lest the reprobates make their way to their destination unhindered! Obfuscating this goal, however, is the lack of knowledge of their destination! Where does they mean to retreat? They said the Imperial Palace. How forebodingly, excruciatingly, super distressing! How long have I languished within the engine of woes, 
shoved into here by my beloved, somewhat insane, perpetually happy brother. What have I not been able to gaze upon in the halls of the Imperial Palace that Magnus the Red, nine times damned traitor, could so easily slip inside? Corvies! Oh no. Oh, I've missed you, friend! Oh, look. Vulcan is alive again. Good. Vulcan lives! <laughs> A day has not gone by that I have not thought of you, my brother! Stop! Oh, your god dead skin smells of ammonia, brother friend! So that's why my nose doesn't work anymore. Lord Vulcan! Alas, we have travail to inform thou about those are supposed to go with terror or something! Ah! What? Terror? Was that why Silverboy had the distinct shape of a custodian? Can we get off this moon now, please? need to go to the Imperial Palace, like, right now, immediately, very fast, whilst this brightest light and volcanic ash drifts in the air like blackened snowflakes upon the canvas of mine albino skin soul, Magnus is still on the run. Yes! I wasn't done extrapolating. I need to finalize the hugging of Magnus. Ew. Nothing now motivates me more. We need to find him again so this grand event can continue its course. My purpose has been made clear. I must lash Magnus to super death so no more of this filthy traitor love can be spread. Oh, and I'm totally gonna show my poems to Dear Father's corpse. They're full of new curse words I came up with. I'm certain Dear Father, betrayed by Nine, will find something I've made to be considered worthwhile. <laughs> yes! Father's skeletal remains must too be embraced, they do. One bread or bone at a time! But first, I must make a tour of the Imperium of Mark. It has been too long since I have gotten a breath of fresh air. We shall see the works we fought for, and after that, we shall see at that point. That sounds like the worst idea for a spin-off ever. Now let us all go! Adventure! Adventure! Ah, yes! Did you two extra greasy bacon strips go off to? A small sliver of your great webway, it would seem, has survived Magnus's body, my lord. Right. I do not really give a shit. It has grown connective tissue to a massive library. Yes. Guarded by the largest, most horrifying clown I have ever seen. <laughs> what are these tomes you carry? Is this the information on the riders of the White Scars? I must say, who in this galaxy would ever bother recording their events in this meticulous say manner? The White's cars are about as exciting as watching Rogel attempt to shift his facial features. How did you even attain these? As we said, Lord, we visited a horrific cloud library by your webway connection. Is there really this much information on them? Is there something wrong, sir? Did we not get sufficient data for you? You can always return to find more. No, please! No use, low with a rubber bandman. I have as much as I need, and far more than I want. Did you receive these records from that conical brass to bite a Midas spare call and ex caretaker? No, sir. I didn't find him nor that husky tomato magnus anywhere. I was going to return to you to inform you about their disappearance. And instead you entered the webway. Your unequivocal idiocy never ceases to amaze. What would you like us to do now, Master? You shall share in my cursed cruise for fast knowledge, child. Begging your pardon, sir. You have brought me an incredibly ponderous and dull set of records that entirely contradicts the existence of its subject matter, that being doing things very fast. Yet I must learn about this so I know when, how, and where these white scars shall serve. But if I am going to suffer through this dissertation of tedium, you are going to join me. May I get a snack? No. I forgot you were standing there, Rogel. You two shall listen to this gay, mundane exposition. As 
Zenka. <laughs> Whoa, man.